Welcome back to Honeyty's channel. I'll be sharing how I took care of my flaky dry skin and how I keep my dry skin hydrated and moisturized. If you have an oily skin, it also still needs to be hydrated and moisturized. And you should also know that dehydration can also cause you to break out. So if you're having some funny breakouts and you don't understand where it came from, you could also consider watching this video so you can learn how to keep your skin hydrated and moisturized because when your skin is moisturized, it can save you from a lot of problems. So you could have a dry skin naturally or it could be as a result of the weather condition, but you should also understand that there are some skincare products which you can use that can help you go through this time. First thing you want to consider with your dry skin, if it's flaky or you are oily, you have an oily skin and it's dehydrated, you want to consider using the right facial cleansers. I use the CeraVe cleansers. This is the hydrating cleanser. This one doesn't foam and this one is the foaming cleanser. I use both because in the morning I don't want too much cleansing and this is what I want to use. And when I feel like, okay, I have a lot to clean on my face and this one, they don't strip my skin off its natural oil. My skin doesn't feel dry after using them. Now moving to moisturizers, I always want to go to a moisturizer that is hydrating. This moisturizer has hyaluronic acid in it and it's very gentle. It works for oily and dry skin. So if you're oily or if you're dry, this will stay for you. Or if you think this is not heavy enough, they also have the one in the cup. You can try that also. That's more heavy than this one. But why I love this one, it has three ceramides in it. So the next one is toners. A lot of people write off toners and when you have a dry skin or when the weather is really dry, you don't want to use toners that dehydrate the skin. You don't want to use toners that have alcohol in them. So I always use this Claire's toner. It's like a first step for my skincare. Like it prepares my skin for the other products to follow. You can try it out or maybe look out for any other brand. The most important thing is that you shouldn't have alcohol in it and it shouldn't be drying your skin out. And I follow up with the hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. This one helps me put, it traps in all the water right <laughs> it's just great ever since i started using it it has been great it helps my skin stay hydrated and just brings all the plump and all the goodness to your skin so look out for this guy if you have anything to do with dehydration now let's move to mask when you do your skincare routine weekly or twice a week don't go for masks that are drying like mud masks don't use mud masks on your face when you have a dry skin or when the weather is really dry like winter hamatan it's not the time for mud mask so i always use hydrating mask like this one from revolution honey and oatmeal it just helps to hydrate your skin and it still helps to keep the glow and everything in your skin but if you use the mud mask it dries your skin out even more you know all those masks that you're trying to use to clear acne and all that it's also it might be a good mask but the time you're using it you may be using it in winter or you need hamatan it will just help you dry out your skin even more and it won't even help your acne at that point because your acne is also dehydrated so even if you're dealing with acne you should also understand that you need hydration for your skin and for the acne to be cleared just remember that whatever you're using should be hydrating and not doing something else because it's been making things even worse so like once in a week i use the sleepover mask like the overnight mask this is also from Revolution, the hyaluronic acid one. When you're dealing with dry skin, like just focus on products that have hyaluronic acid. The ingredients are very important. This is not a time when, I, don't, I, think, I think the time has passed when you just get products because of you heard about they are good. Check the ingredients, check what it has. So if you check out all the ingredients I've been showing you here, the ordinary, which is hyaluronic acid. And I also mentioned that this moisturizer also has hyaluronic acid in it with the whole range, like, you're already in a safe place like hyaluronic acid is your products your with all that good ingredients in all the products your skin just will be more moisturized and hydrated so i use this like once in a week and it has been great overall now let's go to oils before i mention the oil i use i just want to make something clear oils are not moisturizers really don't put oil in the place of a moisturizer this moisturizer cannot be replaced with oil I use these oils from the inky list. This is the rosehip oil and the squealing oil. I use both of them because they are perfect for my dry skin. They don't clog my pores. They don't make me feel like I have oil on my skin. They're not heavy. They're just perfect. And for the squealing oil, I've actually used it under my makeup and it works perfectly fine under your makeup. I haven't tried the rosehip oil under my makeup, but maybe it will work because it doesn't feel heavy at all. 
oils are used to lock in all the moisture you've used probably if you've used your toners if you've used your hyaluronic acid you've used your whatever the oil just locks in all the moisture and helps the moisturized skin to stay longer if you don't lock in with the oil then your skin might just dry out really fast so now guys let's go to the main thing that changed everything for me like what actually changed my flaky skin i know all the other things i mentioned to you don't write them off but this one is actually very important this is what i'm talking about is the sheet mask when i got this i just bought it because i also wanted to try it out and then i had a dry patch at my neck i just put it on my face and it had the remaining gel inside and i thought like oh let me don't waste the gel let me just rub it all over my neck like normally taking your skincare down to your neck and all that and i took it behind my neck the next morning i just noticed that ah this dry patch is not there again i had to recall like what happened and i was like oh it was that sheet mask i used like oh my god so that sheet mask is really good and that's how i fell in love with this sheet mask and i continued using it on my face like weekly and i realized that it was actually helping my flaky dry skin my skin used to be very flaky like i had to wear makeup to cover the flakes like it would peel like my skin was peeling that bad it's something you should add to your skincare routine like my skin is no more flaky but i still do this like once a week if i don't do it once a week i do it once in two weeks it's always in my skincare routine so you know this sheet mask is for hydration and it has hyaluronic acid in it also so if you have a dry skin don't joke with hyaluronic acid it's something you should look out for in your ingredients recently i just added a humidifier to my life and trust me this has really helped my skin especially when you use your you're using your heater or the weather is really really dry i confirmed this like i changed my location for like a week without this humidifier and where i went to it was really really dry and i came back with breakouts on my forehead yes a lot of them it just confirmed that man if your weather is really dry you need a humidifier it will help your skin a lot and not just your skin it's going to help your health too so consider getting one if you can so when we talk about skin let's not forget that we're not just talking about our face your body is also part of your skin i hope you know that mm -hmm. because a lot of times we just forget oh skin 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 i think it's just your face your body is part of your skin and for me since i have a dry skin and if you have a dry skin so also know that your body is also dry for me it's so bad i put my hair dries out really fast so complete package dry skin <laughs> so also consider using moisturizing products for your body as well as your face so i always go for a moisturizing body wash don't get body wash that's any body soap or whatever you're using it's going to dry your skin out and this also causes you to have acne on your skin if you're having back acne and all that it could also be as a result of dry skin for moisturizers use a moisturizer that is heavy enough for your skin and the kind of environment you have the air you have in your environment if it's really dry Go for it and don't go and use vaseline just the same way i talked about or you want to use the vaseline maybe you've used a moisturizer this kind of moisturizer and you use the vaseline to lock in all the moisture then that's perfect but don't just use oil on your skin and because your skin is dry oil does not do the job of a moisturizer so the last thing you want to do is your lip my lip has been loving this protect your hair so my hair is also protected because i don't want it to dry out and Make sure you share this video. Make sure you subscribe before you leave, please. Don't go anywhere. Just subscribe. There's nobody that hydration has not helped. Like, there's nothing like I have an oily skin and so I don't need it. No, you need it. Try it out and you just have your skin just are glowing. <laughs> and tell me what you think about the product I shared with you guys. If there's anyone you've tried or if there's anyone you want to try, please just put it down in the comment section. Let's just have a conversation. Thank you so much for staying to the end. See you in my next video. Bye. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-